Hi everyone, it's Norma and I have a Kringle Candle Accessory Haul. This was part of my order that I placed during their fifth anniversary sale that they um, just had going on the past two weekends. And I had seen Angela C. She had done a video where she had gotten these, um, I think she got the daylight converters. and. I saw that and I was like, oh, I remember seeing those before and I thought that was a really cool idea because I, during the holidays, if you guys saw my When I'm Burning Now video for last December, December 2014, I had a lot of taper candles going. I mean, a lot. And I just love the look of the taper candles. They look so elegant, but you know, they're a little bit of a fire hazard and they burn down really quickly and they're kind of expensive. So it, I was like, you know, for like, you know, more of the like the everyday use during the month, I don't really want to light my tapers. I want to save them to burn them for if like I'm having a party or somebody's coming over. And I thought that these converters would be a great idea because I could still use my candlesticks, but I don't have to go through my tapers. And that would save me some money because I bought some tapers last year, but I haven't bought any for this year, and I'd rather not if I don't have to. So I'm going to take everything out of the boxes and set it up and see what it looks like. So I have the one box of daylight converters. There's two in a box. I got two boxes of the tea light converters because I figure, you know, tea lights you can just get anywhere. And then I also got the... Um, the mesh style potpourri warmer which is supposed to have a non-stick bowl so i'm going to test that out and we'll see if it's really non-stick or not it looks like it is so i just thought i'd show you guys this is nice it has like a rubberized bottom on it so it's not going to scratch your furniture it's really soft got the metal cage and then as you can see we have our non-stick bowl Okay, so I got the tart warmer going. Since it's a rainy day today, I decided to put in a cube of autumn rain. So I just put one cube in there and I got out the converter. So this is the tea light converter and this is the daylight converter. And I tried them in both. So I got two different candlesticks here and I know these are short ones, they're not very elegant, but my tall ones are in the back of a cabinet somewhere. So I tried the tea light converter in both. Now it fits really good in this crystal candlestick. It fits, you know, it fits kind of snug. And this one, it's a little bit, like it doesn't set all the way in. And I think it's because, yeah. It's because this has a more shallow base and this is deeper, but it does fit. It just doesn't go in all the way. And then my daylight converter, same thing. Fits great on this one. And it actually, this one, it fits, seems to fit a little bit better. Is it yet? probably can't tell but it looks like it's uh, no they kind of look like the same I thought maybe it was not quite as tall the little stem part but okay so that's very simple that's just how you do it and so I have the tea light this is the Kringle tea light in pink grapefruit and I probably should switch them because I think the bigger size looks better on the bigger tea light and so to light that up and then the daylight holder so there you guys have it um, I definitely of course I think I like to look better on like a crystal candlestick but I wanted to pull out something different so you guys could see what it looks like um, the only thing is, like I said, with this candlestick, the, the base doesn't have a deep enough well for the cup to sit into. But, um, yeah, it's kind of nice. So for those of you who um, picked up 
a ton of daylights and you're not quite sure what to do with them, <laughs> you might want to consider picking up these uh, converters and get yourself a couple of candlesticks. Um, right now, you know, Home Goods is putting out all the holiday stuff out. That's where I found a bunch of like these crystal ones last year. So, um, you know, get out there and snap them up before somebody else does. They might be a, a good way to decorate your place for the upcoming holidays. I will come back. I'm going to, um, believe it or not, it's only been about five minutes and that wax cube is almost melted completely so as soon as it's melted completely I'm going to blow out the tea light let it cool and we'll come back and see if I can just really just slide that wax right out okay so my wax is cooled and I was able to remove this however um, I had to use a knife to pry it but once I just like got a little edge, I just pushed it and boom, the whole thing came sliding out. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. I'm glad I got it. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. And have a blessed day.